As cinephiles, debates amongst each other go with the territory, whether it's determining if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, which it is, or who shot first. Funded. But one of the most important, widely discussed topics that stand the test of time is who is the greatest action hero of all time? The Austrian oak known as Arnold Schwarzenegger or the Italian stallion, AKA Sylvester Stallone. Since the 1970s, these men have been kicking ass and taking names with no signs of slowing down. Both action stars, even in their advanced age, are still making explosive, bone-crunching films that actors half their age wouldn't dare do. Stallone has Expendables 4 due out next year, as well as appearing in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Arnold is still keeping busy by playing the president in Kung Fury 2. I bet the governor wishes he really got that chance. He wants to be president. And Arnie is also returning to the world of spies once again in the upcoming Netflix series, UTAP. But today, we're going to pit these two icons against each other to decide once and for all, who is the greatest action star in cinematic history? So head to your dearest bomb shelter, grab your steaks and protein shakes, and get your favorite one-liners ready, because once again, it's time to head to the cage of movie mania that is... Face Off! Disclaimer, no actual science was used to determine the outcome of face-off. Your results may vary. Please do not consume face-off if you are allergic to conjecture, opinion, or general nonsense. Round one, origins. To kick off the clash between these mountains of muscles, we're heading back to their humble beginnings to see who had the more impressive path to fame. Sylvester Stallone was born and raised in New York City with aspiration to become an actor. Born with a disability that gives him a slur in his speech, this caused him to be bullied growing up. He used that bullying as motivation for bodybuilding and working out and wanted to prove to the world that he can indeed act. After attending the University of Miami for acting, he eventually found his way to the mean streets of Hollywood, where he struggled to find work, mainly spending most of his early career doing background bits and even found himself doing softcore porn due to the desperation to pay his bills. Shout to that raunchy cartoon on Netflix's Big Mouth. Hey, hey, kitty, you wanna hop on this stallion or what? Sure, but I only ride bareback. Oh yeah, great. It wasn't until 1975 where Stallone was watching the fight between Muhammad Ali and Chuck Wepner that inspired him to write the script for Rocky in just three days. It was so damn compelling, United Artists bought it without a second's hesitation, and the rest is movie history. Stallone not only became an Oscar winner and household name overnight, but it was a start of what is now a massive box office career currently in its sixth straight decade. While all this was happening on the other side of the globe, over in Austria, Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in a strict household but grew up as a stellar athlete in school and eventually found his love for bodybuilding as a teenager. He served a year in the Austrian army and at the age of 18 where he used the opportunity to compete in bodybuilding contests all over Europe before ultimately arriving in America and winning the title of Mr. Universe at the young age of 20. He has become the most iconic bodybuilder ever and won Mr. Olympia seven times, which is a record that stood for many years. His acting career, similar to Stallone, started slow with movies like Hercules in New York, but gained mainstream attention with the iconic documentary Pumping Iron before his major breakthrough with the greatest revenge movie of all time, Conan the Barbarian. Without a doubt, both of these men are trailblazers with their hard work and dedication to their craft, which is not only amazing for action stars, but you can easily consider some of the most impressive talent compared to anyone in Hollywood. We believe it's criminal to pick one over the other in this round, so for starters, we're chalking this round up as a draw. These men are icons for a damn good reason. Now, before we continue, we'd like to thank you for watching Face Off. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click on the bell so you can be notified each time a new video goes live. And now, 
back to the show. Round two, the 80s. If you didn't know, the era of the action hero was kicked into high gear with the decade of decadence known as the 80s. Although the early 80s were a little slow for Stallone in terms of his overall success, we were treated to the underrated Nighthawks. But when 1982 came, action cinema changed forever. That year came the arguably most popular Rocky movie, Rocky III, where he takes on the ferocious Clubber Lang, played by the iconic Mr. T. This movie is high octane fun from start to finish and set the tone not only for the Rocky franchise moving forward, but for action flicks in general. That same year also gave birth to what would be another indelible character with John Rambo in the thriller known as First Blood. But we'll dig into that in a bit. Throughout the 80s, both franchises kept making the decade even more awesome for Stallone, but with all the success comes all the ego, and with all the ego comes, well, not so stellar movies like Cobra, Over the Top, and Tango and Cash, to name a few. Now look, those aren't bad films per se, but let's not pretend that those are in the same class as Rocky or Rambo. On the flip side, Arnold Schwarzenegger arguably defined the action hero genre as he portrayed Conan the Barbarian in two Conan movies before becoming the iconic T-800 in James Cameron's sci-fi action thriller, The Terminator. Nothing else will ever compare to the awesomeness that is the unstoppable Terminator. Some other highlights that Arnold graced us with is the underrated Commando, The Running Man, and the fantastic comedy Twins, which gave us some great laughs when he teamed up with Danny DeVito. The other 80s standout that we must mention is Predator. Arnold may not have appeared in the subsequent films that followed, but he played a pivotal role in birthing a massive new franchise. We feel sorry for the upcoming prequel Prey because nothing will beat Dutch and his troops taking on the ugly motherfucker that is the Predator. Look, this may be a controversial decision because both of these guys dominated the box office during the Reagan era, but we have to give the edge to Stallone for keeping both Rocky and Rambo in the spotlight. Winner by a deadly left hook is Sylvester Stallone. Round three, the 90s. Yes, one of the worst decades for fashion also brought us the greatest movies from Arnold and Sly. This is when their competitive rivalry really started to heat up. Have you been sick? You must wait. Really? Now, whatever weight I lost, you found, pal. Stallone started off kind of rocky, no pun intended, with Rocky V in 1990, often referred to as the weakest of the Rocky franchise, but let's not pretend that the street fight isn't fucking awesome. Then, in 1992, the rivalry was taken to the next level. So the story goes that you somehow tricked him into making a very bad movie. Yes. And is that true? Yes. But- wow, Arnie, we don't know if that was cold or impressive, but as the true underdog, no matter what flop Stallone had, he always overcame and returned with something incredible, such as the fantastic flick cliffhanger and action satire that is Demolition Man, which is to this day resonating in our pop culture. Shout out to the three seashells. <laughs> He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. (laughs) Yes, we are waiting on that sequel, and we are excited if it indeed comes to fruition. Stallone also managed to dip his toes into comic book adaptations before they were cool with Judge Dredd, but sadly, it just didn't work out. However, he bounced back with the underrated Copland, directed by Indiana Jones 5 and Logan's James Mangold, with a stacked cast that includes Harvey Keitel, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, and so on. For Arnold, it seemed that his iconic run in the 80s was only the beginning. He kicked things off with the sci-fi action epic Total Recall, just to follow it up with the greatest action movie and sequel of all time with Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now that's some next level shit right there. And just when you thought the action couldn't get more insane, Arnold brought us the meta last action hero and James Cameron's masterpiece, True Lies. Although he had some decent movies like Eraser and End of Days, it seemed that Arnold's quality of movies came back down to earth somewhat, but in our eyes, they were still fantastic. Except Batman and Robin. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! 
Oh, hell, it's a guilty pleasure. Sue us, we don't care. After breaking this decade down, it's not even close. Although Stallone had some bangers. No, no, not those kind of bangers. Oh, yeah, great. Arnold's career at that point in time was just in another stratosphere. Winner by deadly backhanded fist is Schwarzenegger. Round four, acting. Look, we know when we watch the movies of these incredible action stars, we first and foremost are there to see shit get blown up and ass get kicked. But let's use this round to take a closer look at their respective acting abilities. Each one's got acting chops, but which of them comes out on top? Stallone is more than just badass icon as the Rocky franchise, especially the more dramatic ones like the original, showcase Stallone's ability to carry a movie with his charm and emotion, not just his brawn. He earned an Oscar nomination for Best Lead Actor and nearly 40 years later won the Golden Globe and received another Oscar nomination for the same role in Creed, where he displays an emotional, moving performance thanks to the slick direction of Ryan Coogler. For our money, Sly's best acting moment moment comes right at the end of First Blood, where John Rambo has a breakdown that is just gut-wrenching. It's not very often Stallone turns in those types of performances, but when the role calls for it, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with not only the best action stars, but the finest actors period. Arnold, on the other hand, is a respectable actor, but lacks the range that Stallone possesses. Let's face it, Arnold is great at what he does, which is playing the big, strong, imposing guy. And you know what? That's cool with us. No knock to Arnold, but Stallone was born to act. Arnold was born to kick ass. So this round easily goes to Sylvester Stallone. Round five, comedy. Over here at the Joe Blow face-off cage, we tend to enjoy action flicks and kicking ass with our two favorite stars, but you know what? It's always nice to get a good laugh from these guys, intentionally or not. Can you feel it coming? The icy cold of space. Ah. Stallone hasn't done that many comedies, but there are some gems that need to be pointed out. We recently got a great comedic performance when he voiced King Shark in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, easily the highlight of that movie. With any luck, the DCEU will bring him back in another film or give him his own HBO Max spinoff. Another example is the movie Grudge Match opposite Robert De Niro. Far from Stallone's best work, but still very enjoyable to see Sly poke a little fun at himself and deliver a good standalone boxing movie. It is also noteworthy that the Rocky franchise has some great moments of levity throughout. Hey, bird. Hey, look who's here. Look who's here. The giant worm. Meanwhile, Arnold took some bold moves throughout his career and starred in full-fledged comedies. The first one that most Arnold fans will think of is Twins. It's absolutely crazy. That unstoppable killing machine that is the Terminator goes from that to playing Danny DeVito's twin brother. Credit to director Ivan Reitman for taking Schwarzenegger into uncharted territory and making a different but outstanding film in Arnold's arsenal of movies. Reitman would team up with Arnold again in another memorable comedy, Kindergarten Cop. DeVito would also reunite with Arnold and Reitman for another comedy, Junior. Yes, the one where Arnold is pregnant. Uh, not the worst movie ever, but it certainly wasn't close to the level of genius that Twins was. Another comedy we have to mention is Jingle All the Way. Not the best Christmas comedy ever, but it remains a very clever take on American commercialism and the stupid, silly things that people will do just to get that popular Christmas toy. Come on, folks, you're trying to tell me you haven't procrastinated on your Christmas shopping before? And watching Arnold struggle is so funny since we've all been there. Put that cookie down now! We love it when these badass action heroes show off their funny side, but we must give this round to Arnold by a landslide. Verdict, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Round six, franchises. After being all tied up, this final round will put this debate to rest. Both action warriors have starred in their own franchises that are still ongoing to this day. But which one of these goats leads the superior brand 
of films. Stallone will always be remembered as the people's champion Rocky. The Oscar-winning franchise represents the best of cinema, still continuing to this day with the third Creed movie, although without Rocky in it, it's due out March 2023. If not Rocky, most think of Stallone as John Rambo, with Rambo Last Blood as the most recent entry in the franchise. However, we wouldn't be surprised if Rambo goes on one last killing spree, because why the hell not? But those are not the only two, because the last decade, Stallone called up all his buddies as he led the way for the ensemble of superstars that is the Expendables franchise with the fourth one due out next year. So if you're a movie studio that is not Marvel or DC looking to build out their latest tentpole franchise, give Sly a call. I know friends. Schwarzenegger is no stranger to franchises as the Terminator installments with or without Arnold is still prominent in our pop culture. It's just a damn shame that it hasn't quite found its footing since T2 Judgment Day. Also credit Arnold for kickstarting the Predator franchise again similar to the Terminator franchise as not since the early days has it been up to par with the Arnold brand. However, maybe the upcoming Prey can finally break that curse and maybe, just maybe, we can get a proper sequel that features the long-awaited return of our man, Dutch. Stick around. Among Arnold's many spectacular hits, arguably more box office hits than Stallone, he doesn't quite have the franchise staying power that Stallone has, but maybe one day we can get another Conan movie starring Arnie depicting Conan in his elder years to revive that franchise to help give Arnold the edge here. At the end of the day, as mighty and powerful as Arnold is, the franchises he has starred in have not been up to the same snuff that Stallone has built on the Hollywood landscape. So this face-off finally comes to an end with this round and overall battle going to the Italian Stallion Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. As we always say here at Face Off, don't take our word for it. Who do you think is the greatest action hero of all time? Stallone or Schwarzenegger? Let us know in the comments and suggest what other icons you want to see in the Face Off cage. Don't forget to share this video with all your action-loving friends. And once again, thanks for watching.